This is an unboxing of Dune Imperium. I believe it's a one to four player game. Yeah, one to four player game, 60 to 120 minutes. And this is one of the three, well, I guess two worker placement deck building games that came out this year. Um, this one has a little bit more direct interaction. The other one, Lost Runes Arnak, is more Euro-ish. Um, this one did skyrocket pretty quickly, but I think it's tapered out uh, a little bit. Although I've heard the expansion really uh, improves the game, from what I from what I understand. So uh, let's take a look. Dune Imperium. So this is, uh, you know, as you know, Dune. Whoever controls the spice controls the universe, and you are placing workers to get the spice. And they have, I think, yeah, I guess, um, artistic renditions of the people from the movie, it looks like. So that's probably why it came out a little bit later. And it was done, I guess, in cooperation with Gale Force 9, who apparently owns the license to Dune, uh, you know, at this time. I guess you can get a statue in your game room, which I'm not sure what that is, and some sort of other promotional thing. Solo and two-player games, which I don't see me playing this game if I wanted to play a solo game. Now, one complaint I had is this artwork was kind of bland. Um, they did have, their, they are putting out an upgrade pack to like deluxify it, but the deluxe pack costs almost as much as the base game. So that was a little bit disappointing. Um, I was kind of hoping for a maybe a better quality game after. Uh, this was published by the same people that did Clank. I was hoping for like maybe a, uh, I don't know, a better quality artwork and stuff. It was like kind of bland, right? The board is a little bit bland, which is my main, you know, again, the presentation of the game is my main complaint uh, for this game. We just have like standard cubes and circles, and I, I think I think the you know the teardrop uh, water resource and the I don't know what that one is that one might be the spice look okay, but the rest of the stuff is is just kind of bland. I don't I don't know how else to say. Um, these look okay. These are like markers, and I think they did a good job on the. Uh, artistic renditions of the characters from the you know from the from the movie or series or whatever um it is a you know kind of a crappy insert but nothing you can do about that i mean <clears throat> um it hopefully keeps everything safe when it's traveling to get to you we have a bunch of cards it's obviously deck builder interesting in chinese did get this from Target, so I'm pretty sure that it is uh, legit. I don't think I've ever heard of Target selling illegitimate copies. Um, and this artwork is okay. But the card quality is basically the same as Clank, I think. It's not the highest quality cards. Let's see what else here. So we have... Bene Gesserit Initiate, <laughs> Guild Administrator, Spacing Guild. So these are all going to do different things in your uh, Fremen. And they're all, yeah, this is very clearly from the uh, like artwork inspired from the movie. So I think, <clears throat> you know, the movie reception was, was really, I thought, I thought it was a good movie. And I think it was well received. So that, you know, ties into this and maybe they weren't, maybe they weren't expecting it to do as well in the, uh, uh, I guess, modern gaming circles as it did. So that's pretty much it. I'm not going to open these cards, but uh, you've seen the, you know, pretty much the contents of Dune Imperium the base game. If you like this video, please like and please subscribe and please take a look at our other videos. Thank you.